Having not competed or competed all my life and then taking a break for a while and then finding triathlon again, it, it just awoke this like sense in me that uh, was such an important part of my life. And I have, the last 10 years, I have just loved every minute of it. I think a lot of athletes um, struggle with the swimming and I think they find that to be one of the most challenging components. Um, I was lucky that I was a swimmer and so it comes fairly naturally to me in terms of I getting to the pool and swimming for an hour to two hours doesn't seem like that much to me because in college we were doing significantly more. Um, but I know that that takes a toll on a lot of people. Early mornings usually um, having to like be there, be in the pool and swim, um, it is definitely physically demanding. Um, I kind of find it as that's the place where I go to reset and rest because in the pool everything is quiet and it's just you're, you know, people say they're staring at a black line, but I think in my head um, <laughs> I've never jumped in the pool to do a workout where I'm not imagining that I'm like training for the Olympics. Uh, the cycling I definitely have to work for. Um, not because I don't love it, but I, it, like being a really good cyclist doesn't come as naturally to me. The, I, I guess the toll that it takes on your legs is obviously the most significant part, but um, it's a lot of, I mean, some of the days, like the longer rides, it's just, as they say, seat in saddle. That's a nice way to say it. Um, so just being like on a bike for that long, um, but then, you know, teaching your body how to fight through fatigue to climb up hills or to get into a pace and keep a certain wattage on the bike. And it's just learning how to manage that pain, if you will, um, and knowing that it's just part of, it's part of training, it's part of what you do. And then the run, I say that it's just the hurt that I love. I would rather like, when I see a hard workout, whether it's I have hills that day or it's a like day on the track where we're going to be sprinting or something, that gets me so excited. It's the one of the three that I just love to push my limits. And I don't know if it's because I'm still new to running and that I didn't, like I, I don't think I've achieved what I can yet, um, but it's, I don't know, maybe that's where I work out my anger. I'm not sure, <laughs> I don't know, or my stress or whatever, but I love that feeling of like lungs burning, legs on fire, um, you just can't get any, can't get any more air in, you can't do any more. That's, um, yeah, I think really where it's fun. And a lot of times we have what's called a brick session where you bike and then you go immediately into a run. And at first, like getting your legs used to that transition is really difficult, but now it's my favorite. So when I see that I get to bike first and really push it and then know that I'm coming off exhausted um, and getting to run and push through that fatigue, because I know that's exactly what I'll be doing on race day, I really look forward to those training days. And I think that's mentally where you have to start turning on and saying, I'm just, I'm just gonna get through it. I'm just gonna do it, I'm gonna push and yeah, it's just one foot in front of the other, hopefully really fast.